Way back over a decade ago, an open source Sega Saturn cartridge called Saru showed up that was said to load games similar to something like an EverDrive. It was started by a Chinese user calling himself TP Unix, and for a few years there, it seemed to be making progress. Then the updates stopped and it slipped into the category of the many hobbyist projects that go unfinished in retro gaming. And it was like that for years. Saru became a distant memory and then a simple legend of what could have been. Seemingly out of the blue, Saru cartridges started showing up on places like AliExpress last year. It seemed a few Chinese manufacturers took it upon themselves to build the Saru as it was and issue their own custom firmware fixes for it. This drew the original creator, TP Unix, back to the project, who also began to update the firmware for the device. In this episode, we will be taking a look at Saru and see what all the fuss is about. This is not a how-to video on setting the device up, but an overview of what it does and my experience with it. I hope you enjoy it. Before we do any testing, let's go over the features of the Saru so you know exactly what this thing is about. This is an optical drive emulator capable of playing games from a micro SD card. It has built in 1 megabyte and 4 megabyte RAM expansion support, supports virtual memory for internal and cartridge game saves, boots reproductions and burn CDs, and plugs into the cartridge slot on the back of your Saturn. Drop your BinQ library onto the SD card, and off you go. Testing the Saru, I ran into both great success and disappointment. Many games loaded up and played fine. I was able to play games like X-Men vs. Street Fighter, A Stall, Christmas Nights, Dead or Alive, Virtua Fighter 2, and Die Hard Arcade without any noticeable issues. I then ran into Daytona USA crashing, Golden Axe The Duel Freezing, and a few other games that would simply get stuck at the loading screen on the Saru itself. After a bit of reading, I discovered that some games do not like having the Saru speed up the loading process, and you need to adjust the configuration file in order to get things running again. This seemed to fix games like Bug, so be aware that extra work may be needed in some cases, though there are still some games that simply do not work. I also begin to notice that there are games that seem to run fine, but have audio and performance issues in places that you do not see them when running the original discs. This can be little things like popping and static when switching screens, or coming out of a load, to much more serious frame drops that point blank affect the game experience top to bottom. My time with Dragon Force, what I consider the best game on the Saturn by a mile, revealed many performance issues that never stopped. Some games seemed to load so fast they would cut off part of the process entirely, though seemed to play fine in general. Homebrew and indie games seemed to not like the Saru at all. All of that is important to know because Saru is a work in progress, and is in no way a final build or a retail ready product. There is also an issue of no centralized maker of the device. There are multiple manufacturers of the Saru, sourcing parts through different means. This has led to some of them making custom firmware that has their own compatibility issues. In essence, you can buy two Saru carts from two different places and have two very different experiences. One of the coolest features of the Saru is its virtual save memory feature. Essentially, when you fire up a game through the device, it hijacks the Saturn's internal save RAM and creates a new file for every single game. It can do this for cartridge-based memory as well. This means you will never ever not have enough room to save a game because each game sees the Saturn's memory as being completely empty. This utterly eliminates the need for any other solution. If a game supports it, you can even choose which one you want to use when you first boot the game. It's a great addition that makes you never have to worry about that battery in the back of your Saturn. Thank you. 
There are not many games that use the RAM expansion cartridges for the Saturn, but you'll be glad the Saru has that feature built in. No more needing to swap carts game to game. It was awesome going from X-Men vs. Street Fighter to Street Fighter 03 without worrying about digging out my original 4MB RAM cart. Since each game gets its own virtual memory, you don't have to worry about backing up your game saves to an external memory cartridge either. This all-in-one solution means that once you slap in the Saru, it has the potential to be a one-and-done solution that does everything you need. That's no small thing, especially for the sub $100 this thing costs. Ready. Fight. Hadouken. 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 For years now, those that play reproductions and burn games have either needed a mod chip or a pro action replay to get it done. Not anymore. On top of everything else we've gone over so far, the Saru will also boot your reproductions and burn games library. Simply drop the disc in the Saturn, hit boot CD, and job done. Everything from my beautiful David Lee reproduction of Radiant Silver Gun to my El Cheapo Cotton Boomerang from Etsy and even my manky ass self burn police knots all fired up without any issue at all. Needless to say, all these features in one place is a wonderful thing, making Saru a potential dream come true.
So, that may leave you wondering, what's my final verdict on the Saru? Is this thing worth picking up? That greatly depends on you. I want to be clear this video is not meant to be a review, because that would be extremely unfair. This is my early experience with the device, and I have many more games to test. This is an open source work in progress project that has many cooks in the kitchen. This is not a finished solution that is going to work perfectly out of the box and give you everything you need and desire. Some games need additional configuration. Some games don't work. Some games have little issues here and there. Some manufacturers use their own firmware. Some of those don't work with the official TP Unix firmware. Some Saru boards use reclaimed chips from used electronics. Some Saru boards are simply made better than others. The one I picked up seemed to work well overall, but I'm betting depending on your source, you may have a very different experience. So let me say this with absolute clarity so there's no mistake. Saru is not ready for prime time, nor is it an easy solution for all your Saturn needs. At least not yet. I am very excited to see this grow and mature into hopefully something that works with most games and all the little issues seeing improvement and fixes. If you buy through recommended means and love to tinker a bit, I can fully give this device my blessing as long as you understand what you're getting yourself into. Work in progress means just that. Some game fixes may take time, some may never get fixed at all, but what is here so far is interesting enough that many of you will enjoy the ride to see where it all ends up. The prospect of slapping in one device that takes care of all your needs is as tantalizing as it sounds. I hope the future for this one is as bright as we all want it to be. I'm Sigalord X, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time.